guys. For today's quick tip, I'm going to teach you how to make your own head pin. This is what it's going to look like. It's just a knot on the end of a piece of wire that works perfectly to put any bead on. And you can say it's completely handmade. See how that works? So then what I want to do here is I want to show you the technique. And also there will be more videos coming uh, later about different kinds of head pins you can make um, for different types of needs. Uh, but today I'm going to show you this knotted head pin. And this is what I'm using here is 24 gauge. But you can do this with up to about 20 gauge. I've done it with 18 and it's a little rough. But um, we're going to do it with our uh, 24 gauge today. So as you can see I'm running my fingers back and forth over this wire. And what I'm doing is I am just kind of straightening it out. Getting it ready for my needs. So you can do that or you can take a wire straightener just right over it and boom, you know, it'll straighten it right out for you guys. I know I've told you that before in videos, but it's all your preference. So what you want to do to begin with, you're going to need round nose pliers. You're going to need your flush cutters as usual and a pair of chain nose pliers. So what you want to do first is you want to take your round nose pliers. I'm going to flush cut this end first just to make sure we're nice and flat. You want to take your round nose pliers. I usually go pretty close up to the tip. You can see I backed off just a hair. And I'm going to make two rota full rotations around the uh, uh, round nose pliers. Okay. And once you do that, hopefully you can see that, but you can see there's that end that I was talking about. And we made it completely twice around. Okay, you're going to take out your uh, round nose pliers and then you'll take your chain nose pliers and hold over top of that, those loops that you just made, guys. And then once you do that, you're going to take this wire, excuse me, kind of slip there, and you're going to put it up and down. Okay, so you can see now it kind of looks like a little golf club get that straightened out guys but that that's what you want to be looking at right now so you just kind of bend it up so the wires coming out the back then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the end of this wire and you can see how I made kind of a U there you're going to take the end of that and you're going to put it up through or down through those loops that you made and I usually push it like probably a little over halfway back then you're going to need these, uh, I'm sorry, you will need these uh, to make your um, knotted head pins. If not, um, it's not going to be as nice. You really need these. <clears throat> so I grab those with the uh, nylon gel pliers. Take the end of it, and I'm, I'm holding it tight, but I'm not like cramming down on it, just to give it a little bit of play. And then I'm taking the chain nose pliers on the end of it, and I'm going to pull that away. And you can see how that knot just comes right up and why you need those nylon jaw pliers okay so this is what you end up with then you have a little knotted head pin quite pretty completely handmade and if you need to straighten it up you can take your chain nose in flatten it move it do what you need to do and then as you can see you can just put a bead right on it and proceed and I think it's really pretty and it really brings home the the handmade the handmade look of things so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you learned how to make um, a knotted head pin and as always all of my links are in my description and any questions please leave in the comments have a great day guys